G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this video is the announcement for the winners of January's challenge of the month which was Super Selfie, where participants were required to create an illustration of a superhero like character taking a selfie in some entertaining way, be it being posted on social media or in an interesting pose. So first things first, the entries have blown me away, you guys keep setting the bar higher and higher, we've outdone last month as the highest number of entries in the challenge of the month so far at about 500 30, and that was with the limit of one entry per person. So to everyone who's contributed their time and talent and effort into these competitions, I just wanna thank you so much and apologize that I can't showcase every single one of them, but I sincerely and genuinely hope anyone who has participated has enjoyed the experience of pushing themselves and their, their limits and taken for themselves a few new tips or tricks or newly acquired skills from participating. Now, before we get stuck into the showcase and the amazing winners, I just wanted to remind you all about the sponsors for the Challenge of the Month competition. They're all listed on the screen right now and are contributing some fantastic prizes to the winners of the Challenge of the Month. Make sure to go check out the links on the screen and in the description to see their amazing range of products, all of which are sponsors and included because I highly recommend them personally. I use them, I've had great experiences with them and I'm passing them on to you. So getting started with our entries, like I said, it's the most entries we've had so far, so there's gonna be quite a few more in the showcase and I'm gonna to have to go through it fairly quickly. Anyone who isn't part of the showcase at the beginning of this video will be shown at the end of the video with the rest of the entries. And my sincere apologies if I've missed anyone with over 500 or so entries to kind of collect and gather an archive into the video. I might have missed one or two and I'm really sorry if it's you, but I've tried really hard to get absolutely everyone. PK Shade created this piece which really captures Deadpool's personality. Ricardo Mick illustrated Supergirl in this extremely professionally pulled off image. Dimarkovic did this piece called Hashtag Just Woke Up of the Hulk, which made me laugh out loud. Doc Lou created this picture of a Wonder Woman, which I'm showcasing because it's very well made and because I always upvote ass. Nikki Parson created the Avengers selfie, which is really well painted as an image and very well implemented into the social media sphere. One UF created this Spider-Man fisheye cam, an ambitious angle and well done execution. Bill the Artist created the flash, flashing around in a picture. So far as he can fit several flashes into one camera flash. Andrew depicted Ghost Rider creating a selfie at the end of a chain, really well done and a clever angle. Sibo20 created Spider-Man and the Black Cat selfie, love the comic book shading here. Drawing Master did Captain selfie of Captain America and the Instagram depiction and filter are very nice touches. That Dude Karma created a piece called Superman, no one can see these. Another piece that made me laugh out loud, a very clever little idea there. Swift Second illustrated Sneaky Selfie, the Black Canary, a simplistic but very well drawn image image and of course it is sexy and I always upvote ass. Melanie Darling created the Super Snatch Up selfie with Jubilee annoying Wolverine. And Roll illustrated the Batman selfie posing with the Joker after he's been caught. Hanan Sabara created the Big Hero 6 Super selfie. I love the stylistic execution here and the way it's been implemented into Instagram. Mikagar85 depicted Groot taking a selfie of the Guardians of the Galaxy who's implemented a really cool blocky cartoon style. Linux created the cocky Batman selfie, another one that made me laugh out loud when I first saw it. A really clever little idea there. Arvo675 depicted a very deadpool -y Deadpool in a piece called Good Morning. Alex Partridge illustrated a very stylistically clean group of the Ninja Turtles taking a selfie. The Rabid Werewolf depicted the Big Hero 6 characters in the selfie. And Charney depicted the ever-annoying Robin being stupid enough to take selfies while on the job. Reanimate Arts depicted Dash stealing bras at the beach. And Simon Ignatius created this really well done traditional large form art piece of Wonder woman taking a selfie for Superman. Maggie Klung illustrated Miss Marvel in a piece that I believe is traditional but so well drawn that it looks clean and digital. Deity's Eggs created a selfie of Batman with Alfred in the background in the Batcave. And Girl Greg created another depiction of the Robin selfie on the job. But I really love that blocky sharp style and execution of this piece. So now we've finally arrived to the matter of the prize winners. There are three prizes in the challenge of the month. The first is the Encouragement Award which goes to someone who's demonstrated a lot of improvement improvement in the work and a lot of ambition and effort in their entry to the competition. And this is regardless of their age or technical skill level. So this is really up for anyone. There was a handful of pieces up for this prize and I just wanted to take you through them because they're all really cool. The first is a piece by TB Coop and it's called Teen Titans Selfie. They've pushed themselves in their artwork and I really like the way that they've pulled off the traditional piece here. Batman Cheerios created the Flash Super Selfie and this artist in particular has taken the jump into digital art and shows a huge amount of improvement in this compared to their previous traditional artworks. Doodle Dork created this piece called Teen Titans on Instagram 
and once again a huge amount of improvement in their artwork and the way this piece is pulled off is really solid. Artist Origin of Mascor created this piece called Spider-Man Selfie. The technical execution, especially when it comes to the lighting and composition, is fantastic, especially for someone who's 15 years old. So massive props there. But alas, there can only be one winner of the Encouragement Award and that winner is Ultimate Julio with the piece The Spider-Verse Selfie. This artist has included every iteration that they could think of of Spider-Man, be it through various comic book story arcs and even the TV show, going so far as to include stylistic differences and ambitious shading where it's appropriate, like in the comic book versions. Not only is this piece extremely ambitious, but they've made some fantastic progress in their art and really pushed themselves. So congratulations, Ultimate Julio. You will be winning a copy of Christopher Hart's new book, Cartoon Academy Cartoon Faces, and a Stillman and Byrne Epsilon series sketchbook, which I will be christening the front page with a little illustration. And of course, you get to pick an item of your choice from my online shop. Make sure to check your Newgrounds PM inbox to get details of how to receive your prizes. Now, when it came to selecting a runner-up and a winner for this challenge of the month, boy, was my task difficult because there are about a dozen entries that are so high quality and professional and clever in their execution that it was just really difficult. So anyone in this following list, you can rest assured that it was a very close call and I really am impressed by your work. And all of you are inspiring me to try and push myself to get to your level of artistry and I know that uh, a lot of the people watching are going to be feeling that way too. But alas, it pains me that I cannot pick all of you to receive prizes, but the least I can do is showcase you now and give as much props as I possibly can. This piece by artist Thane is called Batgirl Selfie. Really slick execution, love the variation in the line works and really nice soft variation of colours and shading. This piece by Striped Stocking is depicting the Flash being so fast he's able to fit several times in the one selfie and the comic book style of this illustration as well as the clever mix of colours in the composition is very well pulled off. This piece is by art by Lexi and it's called Wonder Woman Selfie. I love how slick and clean this image is. It's so sharp and polished. The line work which holds various colours wherever appropriate is extremely solid and well pulled off. The angle is ambitious and the shading is soft, subtle and really well done. This piece by Demos Odin is called the Flash Superhero Selfie. This artwork is almost worthy of being a cover of a Marvel comic book. It's so professionally well done, fantastic lighting. I especially love the way the artist has done the inking throughout this piece and the ambitious angle. Artist Andres Dubuja 92 created a piece called Hashtag Casual Photo. It's a depiction of the Gwen Spacey Spider Woman from the Spider-Verse and this artist's familiarity with appropriate use of lighting and the angle that they've chosen, the way that the brush strokes are used and in particular the skin and the hair of this character, it's all just extremely impressive. Artist Luxy created a piece called Spider Selfies and aside from being extremely polished and well pulled off, I especially love how it's been integrated seamlessly into the social media world and how cleverly polished and well executed that integration is. Artist Chon Saw created a piece called Explosion Selfie with characters Betty Ross and Jen Walters posing together in front of an explosion. This piece's art style is very professional. I love the mix of colors and the contrast between the green and red. The poses are very naturalistic. The line work is professional and the colors and shading are well done. Artist Zime created a piece called Zantana Selfie and it's very easy to see as soon as you look at this image how skilled this artist is with their digital painting. It's a well done angle and expression and most of all the painting style and techniques that are used to create this piece are of a very high quality. Artist Ataros created a piece called Black Cat Selfie. The lighting in this piece creates a really nice soft glow throughout and the Spider-Man in the background has that really cool rim lighting around him as well and the brush strokes of the edges and the shading of the Black Cat character are very well thought out and professionally executed. Artist Zowie13 created a piece called Captain Caveman and KV Jr. It's the only entry in this competition with these characters so it's extremely original and the painting style especially the rim lighting and the use of colors is very well done. Artist Spring A4444 created Deadpool COTM Super Selfie. This artist really captured that Deadpool style especially with his humor in using cutlery as claws in a little jab at Wolverine. And now finally ladies and gentlemen we come to the long-awaited moment of our runner-up and winner of this month's challenge of the month. Our runner-up is a piece by Xavi027 and it's called Hit Girl Cartwheel Selfie. So much about this image is so impressive. The ambitious pose and angle that would just be so difficult to pull off. The clever backlighting and the variation and the tones throughout the piece, the brush strokes, the motion blur in the background, the proportions and the amount this artist has improved and shown off their huge amount of technical skill and expertise in this piece is all so 
impressive. So congratulations AV027, you will be receiving a copy of Masters of Anatomy and an Epsilon series sketchbook, which I'll be gracing the front page with a sketch that is uh, not as good as your ability to sketch, but it's a novelty nonetheless. <laughs> You'll also get a bunch of custom Photoshop brushes by Kyle T. Webster and an item of your choice from my choice <laughs> and an item of your choice from my Jazza Studios shop. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the winner of this month's challenge of the month. And the winner is Luchi Holler, and the piece is called Everybody Laugh. This piece is a depiction of the comedian from Watchmen, and the execution of this piece is just so impressive. From the reflection of this piece in the brass that still keeps that brassy look, even though we still see all the colors and textures of the character through the brass, to the subtle touches throughout the piece, like the way the background and the environment distorts because of the cracked glass, to the blood on the front and the texture and the painting style and technique used on the comedian character himself. The piece is just so impressive and well done and extremely well deserving of the first prize. So congratulations Lucia Hola, as the first prize winner you will be receiving a Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. My precious. The Wacom Intuos Pro Medium is a wireless pen and pad tablet that works with both Mac and PC. It's capable of multi-touch gestures, has customizable express keys and a rocker ring, and over 2048 pressure levels on the pen tip and the eraser. For more information on this and other amazing Wacom products, check out the annotation on the screen or the link in the description. And you'll also be receiving a bunch of custom Photoshop brushes by Kyle T. Webster and an item of your choosing from my Jazza Studios shop. And of course, the runner-up and first prize winner winner will both receive front page spotlights on the Newgrounds front page. Make sure to check your Newgrounds PM inbox to get details of how to receive your prizes. So that brings us to the end of the Challenge of the Month showcase and winner announcement. I'm going to be showing the rest of the entries after this little end bit where I wanted to say thank you once again to everyone who has entered and made it such a success and remind you all that you can all vote on the next Challenge of the Month theme by clicking the link in the description and voting in the poll. And until next time ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, I'll see you later.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel to see new content every week. Check out more of my stuff by clicking the annotations over there. If you want to support my work and get a few goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, and get yourself something nice. If you're looking for a great place to collaborate, explore, or share your own content, head over to newgrounds.com. That's it for now, and until next time, see you later.